Keep grinding. Get ready, folks. It's a new day. The channel where we talk about the real ideas to help people grow personally, professionally, and financially. We are your hosts, Tom Sullivan. Sean Letcher. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. Um, really what we're going to be going over is why we think they're important to have, um, how to make a good New Year's resolution, why they fail. Um, we're going to talk about our own personal resolutions as well. Looking forward to it. Let's dive right in. The thought of a New Year's resolution can often be tedious. One reason is because most people fail to continually do their New Year's resolution and then they kind of get bummed out a couple months in. Um, we still believe it is very important to create a New Year's resolution for two reasons. It's important to identify your strengths and weaknesses throughout the year. Um, you know, what do you need to stop doing, what do you need to start doing, and then what do you need to continue doing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, along with this, it's important to make the goal and set the standard for yourself. Um, really setting the bar of saying this is acceptable for me to continue acting in this manner or to achieve this level of activity at your job or whatever it may be. Um, you're, you're setting the standards, setting the bar, and you know working towards that each and every day. It's also important to make it a fun learning experience yeah. to help you grow. Yeah. So a New Year's resolution uh, is really something that you're wanting to accomplish that's going to help you grow personally, professionally, and financially. Okay. The first step in creating that New Year's resolution is to define uh, really what it's going to be. We're really making a SMART goal. Again, that's uh, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-based. After making your SMART goal, uh, it's important to get an accountability partner. We talked about accountability in the last video. Uh, it's important to have that partner to really make sure that uh, you're going to stick to that resolution or goal. I believe having a partner also kind of makes it a little bit of a game. You can kind mm -hmm. of add some enthusiasm to yeah. the New Year's resolution. Have that partner uh, come up with a New Year's resolution as well. So why do New Year's resolutions fail? Um, we feel that People may set their goal higher um, than a standard that they can regularly achieve. Uh, you, you really should be setting something that's going to challenge you, but something that you know that you can do. Again, with a SMART goal, it should be attainable uh, and relevant for you. So, I think a good example of this is working out. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I'm going to do this for seven days a week. Yeah. Well, if you look at actually how to make a workout schedule long term, you have to add rest days in there. Mm -hmm in between the working out or you're just going to get burnt out after the first few months. Also, if you go if you're someone that doesn't run every single day, don't set your goal to run 5 miles every day. You're you're going to burn out within 3-4 days. You just physically can't do it. Set it to run a mile every single day for the first month and then after that month, set it to run 2. So you can you can build yourself up there. Definitely. I think that's a big reason why people fail at following through on their new year's resolutions. They just get a little burnt out. Yeah. Um, also, they don't use the SMART goal format. Mm -hmm. So, for the specific, they don't know exactly what they want to do. Yeah, and for the measurable, they don't know uh, how to tell when they've reached it. They don't have any any sort of measuring stick to really track their progress. Yeah, attainable, they just don't know if their goal is actually within their power to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Relevant, um, they don't know if they can realistically achieve that, uh, that goal. Timely, and most people don't set time limits on their goals. So when do you want to achieve this? Mm -hmm. It's important to look at all those factors and really make sure that you are setting yourself uh, a smart goal or smart New Year's resolution. I think it makes it a complete plan. Yeah. When creating my New Year's resolution, I first thought about, you know, what will help me most grow, um, personally, professionally, and financially. And I think my mornings can kind of get lackadaisical sometimes, so I thought a good New Year's resolution was to implement a kind of a little 30-minute morning meeting just to get my brain stimulated and you know figure out my goals and objectives for the day. So I'm going to call that a focus on activity meeting. Um, that is my specific goal, how I'm going to measure it. Um, I'm going to have weekly goals that I break down into day type compartments. Um, getting daily and singular, I believe, will help me mm -hmm. break it down. It'll seem less less of a huge task, and um, I'll be able to complete those easier. Mm -hmm. um, attainable, I know I can do it. You know, I should be up at 8 a.m. every day. There's really no excuse why I shouldn't. So I believe that's a good goal. Um, realistic, I believe this New Year's resolution will help me grow personally, professionally, and financially. 
and then time based every morning from 8 to 8.30 just get my brain moving and you know so I'm awake and ready for the day. Yeah so my New Year's resolution is to do a journal entry every Sunday to basically sum up the, the previous week that I just had uh, and, and plan for the upcoming week that I'm going into. Uh, so it's, it's specific, it's a weekly journal entry. Uh, it's measurable, one page, once a week. Uh, it's attainable, it's easily done. I know I can do it, uh, it's just making sure that I actually do it. Um, it's relevant, it would be good for me to have a place to put my thoughts and all my ideas on a weekly basis to kind of just keep track with myself almost. Um, and it's time-based once a week for a year, so I'll have 52 journal entries at the end of 2021. Uh, again, Sean and I are actually going to be accountability partners for that, um, and so we're going to hold each other accountable, make sure that, that we're each doing it, and uh, following through on our, on our agreements. Yeah, and I know Tom will be up at 8 a.m. every day with me, but you know, maybe by the end of the year I'll be doing journals too. Yeah. So in conclusion, a New Year's resolution uh, should be something that is going to change your life for the better, whether that be personally, professionally, or financially. Even a small step in a single, uh, you know, a small single step every day that's going to build. I mean, if you do something every day, that's 365 times that you've done that one thing. So you're going to make forward progress. Um, so our, our action item in this video is to make a New Year's resolution and make it a SMART goal. So make it specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. Uh, that way you can really focus on achieving that. Yeah, we'd love to hear your New Year's resolution or if you need help creating one, you know, we're always here to help, so give us a shout. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in to Grind, uh, the channel where we talk about the real ideas to help people grow personally, professionally, and financially. We hope you enjoyed today's conversation, and if you did, comment below, like, share, um, or send us an email at grindresource at gmail.com. We really love to hear from you guys, love the feedback, and hope it keeps coming. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, and keep grinding.